In graph theory, a perfect graph is a graph in which the chromatic number of every induced subgraph equals the size of the largest clique of that subgraph. Due to the strong perfect graph theorem, perfect graphs are the same as Birge graphs. A graph G is a Birge graph if neither G nor its complement has an odd length induced cycle of length 5 or more. The perfect graphs include many important families of graphs, and serve to unify results relating colorings and cliques in those families. For instance, in all perfect graphs, the graph coloring problem, maximum clique problem, and maximum independent set problem can all be solved in polynomial time. In addition, several important min-max theorems in combinatorics, such as Dilworth's theorem, can be expressed in terms of the perfection of certain associated graphs. The theory of perfect graphs developed from a 1958 result of Tiber Gallery that in modern language can be interpreted as stating that the complement of a bipartite graph is perfect. This result can also be viewed as a simple equivalent of Koenig's theorem. A much earlier result relating matchings and vertex covers in bipartite graphs. The first use of the phrase perfect graph appears to be in a 1963 paper of Claude Berge, after whom Berge graphs are named. In this paper he unified Gallery's result with several similar results by defining perfect graphs, and he conjectured the equivalence of the perfect graph and Berge graph definitions. Berge's conjecture was proved in 2002 as the strong perfect graph theorem. Families of graphs that are perfect. Some of the more well-known perfect graphs are bipartite graphs, the graphs that can be colored with two colors, including the forests, graphs with no cycles, the line graphs of bipartite graphs, the rooks graphs are a special case, chordal graphs, the graphs in which every cycle of four or more vertices has a chord, an edge between two vertices that are not consecutive in the cycle. These include the forests, k-trees, split graphs, block graphs, interval graphs, trivially perfect graphs, threshold graphs, windmill graphs, and strongly cordial graphs. Comparability graphs formed from partially ordered sets by connecting pairs of elements by an edge whenever they are related in the partial order. These include the bipartite graphs, the complements of interval graphs, the trivially perfect graphs, the threshold graphs, the windmill graphs, the permutation graphs, and the k-graphs. Perfectly orderable graphs, the graphs that can be ordered in such a way that a greedy coloring algorithm is optimal on every induced subgraph. These include the bipartite graphs, the chordal graphs, the comparability graphs, the distance hereditary graphs, and the wheel graphs that have an odd number of vertices. Trapezoid graphs, the intersection graphs of trapezoids whose parallel pairs of edges lie on two parallel lines. These include the interval graphs, trivially perfect graphs, threshold graphs, windmill graphs, and permutation graphs. Their complements are a subset of the comparability graphs. Relation to min-max theorems. In all graphs, the clique number provides a lower bound for the chromatic number, as all vertices in a clique must be assigned distinct colors in any proper coloring. The perfect graphs are those for which this lower bound is tight, not just in the graph itself but in all of its induced subgraphs. For graphs that are not perfect, the chromatic number and clique number can differ, for instance. A cycle of length 5 requires three colors in any proper coloring but its largest clique has size 2. A proof that a class of graphs is perfect can be seen as a min-max theorem. The minimum number of colors needed for these graphs equals the maximum size of a clique. Many important min-max theorems in combinatorics can be expressed in these terms. For instance, Dilworth's theorem states that the minimum number of chains in a partition of a partially ordered set into chains equals the maximum size of an anti-chain, and can be rephrased as stating that the complements of comparability graphs are perfect. Mirsky's theorem states that the minimum number of anti-chains into a partition into anti-chains equals the maximum size of a chain, and corresponds in the same way to the perfection of comparability graphs.
The perfection of permutation graphs is equivalent to the statement that, in every sequence of ordered elements, the length of the longest decreasing subsequence equals the minimum number of sequences in a partition into increasing subsequences. The erdos shakeris theorem is an easy consequence of this statement. Koenig's theorem in graph theory states that a minimum vertex cover in a bipartite graph corresponds to a maximum matching, and vice versa, it can be interpreted as the perfection of the complements of bipartite graphs. Another theorem about bipartite graphs, that their chromatic index equals their maximum degree, is equivalent to the perfection of the line graphs of bipartite graphs characterizations and the perfect graph theorems. In his initial work on perfect graphs Burge made two important conjectures on their structure that were only proved later. The first of these two theorems was the perfect graph theorem of Lovis, stating that a graph is perfect if and only if its complement is perfect. Thus, perfection is equivalent to the equality of maximum independent set size and clique cover number. The second theorem, conjectured by Burge, provided a forbidden graph characterization of the perfect graphs. An induced cycle of odd length at least 5 is called an odd hole. An induced subgraph that is the complement of an odd hole is called an odd antihole. An odd cycle of length greater than 3 cannot be perfect, because its chromatic number is 3 and its clique number is 2. Similarly, the complement of an odd cycle of length 2k plus 1 cannot be perfect, because its chromatic number is k plus 1 and its clique number is k. Because these graphs are not perfect, every perfect graph must be a Burge graph, a graph with no odd holes and no odd antiholes. Burge conjectured the converse, that every Burge graph is perfect. This was finally proven as the strong perfect graph theorem of Chudnovsky, Robertson, Seymour, and Thomas. The perfect graph theorem has a short proof, but the proof of the strong perfect graph theorem is long and technical, based on a deep structural decomposition of Burge graphs. Related decomposition techniques have also borne fruit in the study of other graph classes, and in particular for the claw-free graphs. Algorithms on perfect graphs. The algorithm for the general case involves the use of the ellipsoid method for linear programming, but more efficient combinatorial algorithms are known for many special cases. For many years the complexity of recognizing Burge graphs and perfect graphs remained open. From the definition of Burge graphs, it follows immediately that their recognition is in CoNP. Finally, subsequent to the proof of the strong perfect graph theorem, a polynomial time algorithm was discovered by Chudnovsky, Cornu-Edgels, Liu, Seymour, and Viscovich.